Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to chapter 8 here of the Forgotten City Long Gameplay. We are 8 chapters in to this game so far, and I've been playing for roughly an hour for each video. And last time I cut it a little bit short there, I was running out of time, but this is a long game. <laughs> I'm really taking it all in and I'm very much enjoying it. But just a quick recap of what happened in the last chapter. We were able to get Maliolus to admit his real name was Quinctius and get him to withdraw from the election through a love letter that Claudia gave us. Galerius then decided to run for magistrate. Towards the end of the last chapter, we were able to experience the first of four endings to this game by killing Sentius and traveling back through time since we've created that paradox. And we found Al. Finally, Al Worth. We have found him. <laughs> Our first mission that we were trying to achieve since the get-go of this. But we ended up finding out because we killed Sentius and there was no loop back in time to fix things, we got trapped in this city, which was all abandoned, destroyed, only to find ourselves there forever and ever till we died. So. We're going to be in search of some more stories and some digging up some more information here, trying to figure out what the other endings are here. So let's continue this journey here in the Forgotten City of Chapter 8. Alright, so here we are back on the balcony of our magistrate, current magistrate, Sentius. I thought I told you to get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Yeah, we know. I figured you might have something different to say there. Oh, how I want to do this so bad. But I shouldn't. It's like... Whoa. The filter changes when I go to try to do this. That's weird. Like, um, something bad's about to happen. Um. Okay, so. We know what happens when we kill him. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here. <laughs> yeah. You might want to leave. So, let's get out of here. Don't you just love springtime? Okay. So, Galerius, you're about to gather everybody. So, what I want to do next here is... Oh, yes. So, I want to try to stop Opius from getting killed. Lucretia. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She needs the rest. I got it right here. What? Yep. Yulia? Hopefully, in a moment, she should be able to breathe no matter that yep. was a... Um... I'm gonna tell you that I'm a time traveler this time. A what? I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent, because it sounded like you said, time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her. In the meantime, yeah. I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Hmm. Um, did I ever ask you what your story was? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. Hmm. So how did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. 
So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Sorry to hear that. It's alright. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. <laughs> but the god yeah. who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So, I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Hmm. So, I got the meat Navia. Can you tell me more about her? Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until hmm. she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's mm -hmm. been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Who is that? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. True. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Really? Well, I met Na Navia and pick something up there where she, well, she gave me a key to her chest and she had the healing recipe for rheumatism so I have a treatment for it you did? that's unexpected but tell me what is it? willow bark willow bark I should have known it was under my nose the <laughs> whole time that's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. Rufius? I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Hmm. A pot of finely shaved willow bark for medicinal purposes. Cool. Sure. I'll do that. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. So. Do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. All right, Christian, I'm going to be going now. Thanks for the chat. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Mm-hmm. Um, Yulia, let's try to speak again. I'm going to try not to tick her off this time by telling her oh, we're asking if there's a way out. It's you. Sorry, was this? You mean my life story? Oh, I thought it was a... We must okay, have... Okay, we my... went through I... this. Thank you. 
If that's your idea. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. Oh well. I accidentally clicked that. I gotta I be know. more careful. I, I seriously need to start being more careful. <laughs> hmm. A golden ball. Mm. Just like Apollo and Diana's. Yep. Rufius. Let's speak, buddy. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. About your rheumatism. What business is that of yours? <sighs> I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark, and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been... In a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Now you don't owe me anything. But. While we're talking, let's get down to this issue you have with threatening Virgil. No idea what you're talking about. All right, Rufius, we've been through this. I know it was you. There was an incomplete layer to him in your quarters. <sighs> Look, I... I haven't been at my best lately. Mm -hmm. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. Mm -hmm. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So, I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened, will you? No problem, Rufius. That's understandable. But I am going to mention to Virgil that he doesn't have to be in fear anymore, so we're at peace now. Glad you admitted to it. That was pretty cool. Unlike the last couple conversations we had with him previously in the time loops. So, no problem, Rufius. Everything's cool now. Starting to make some peace here. Virgil! Hey, buddy. Behind you. <laughs> ah, in your face. Salve. And welcome to a little cup. Okay, Virgil. Have... Yep. Um, hey, don't worry about any more threats. They're never. It was Rufius. He, he was never going to hurt you. He was going through some crap. He's cool now. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. The ones he's been sending you. You went snooping in his place? Yeah. <laughs> that was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you <laughs> spoken to him about it? I did, yeah. So, we had a friendly conversation. We're at peace now. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? How did you manage that? Well, he had an issue, a medical issue with rheumatism. Found a treatment for it. It was causing him to become agitated and a little bit more meaner than normal. <laughs> And on top of that, he was uh, having some other personal issues, so... That kind of helped him once we found a treatment for it. He's cool now. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help you. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti that he did there, too. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Thanks. Well, take care, Virgil. I got some other major issues to take care of now. Nice to talk to you. You too. Okay, 
guys, so we have accomplished that. Um, Don't you just love springtime? Oh yes. So Lucretia. Alpha Centella, would you? Um. We'll talk in a minute. Lucretia. On things, Horatius. Can As always, priestess. Any news about Centilla, Navia, or Kabash? No sign of any of them, I'm afraid. But we do have a newcomer. Strangely dressed fellow. Funny accent, too. A traveler from a faraway land, then? Seems that way. That's me. <laughs> I'm literally sure standing right in front welcome, of you guys. Of course, priestess. <laughs> I'm literally right in front of you guys that you're talking about Salve. me. <laughs> okay, can we talk now? Uh-huh. Um interesting. Okay. Oh, keep asking Livia. Okay, so come. Hmm. Gracious. We haven't spoken in a while. Citizen? Um All right. Hmm. So nothing really Fortune new. smile on you, brother. Yeah, peace be with all of you. Um what did I want? Aha, yes. Arve. Excuse me. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? <laughs> Shut up. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, where do I want to go? Shoot, I'm lost. This way. Yeah, I hate you. You're irritating, you know that. Hmm. Oh, wrong way. Excuse oh, me. No, Fortune <laughs> smile on you, brother. <laughs> oh, I love it. Definitely reminds me of Skyrim. Every time you walk past somebody, you have something to say. So yeah, guys, if you don't remember, um, I don't know if I still have it, but I have. Yep, right here. For rheumatism, Willow Bark. That's what she gave us. Well, she gave us a key to her chest, which was in the shrine there for the clinic. And this was in there. But at the time, I don't think I spoke to Lucretia enough to come to this. At least I didn't talk to her enough after the fact that I completed that quest. But I don't know. But yeah, there's this. Um, I picked up two of these. Don't need those anymore. Okay, so that's the love letter. I would definitely like to speak to, with Maliolos about that. Willow bark. Um, goose eggs. I don't know what the heck these are for, though. Don't know what that's for, either. Um, key to the chest in the shrine. Okay, that's the key Navia gave us. Okay, we got Claudia some of this in exchange for that love letter. Fletched arrow. Hmm. Okay. Bounty notices, citizen register. Okay. A loaf of bread. Not sure if I can sell those things or what? Okay, that was the tablet that Al inscribed on. We have plenty of that. Denar Denaris. Okay, so trying to get Maliolus. So Quinctius would not withdraw some Maliolus might and only will Galerius run for Magistrate if we get Maliolus to resign. So those two kind of go hand in hand. Figure out why Olivia is acting strangely. We need to speak to more people. Permanent situation solution. How to keep Opius from killing himself, which is what we're doing right now. So he can be at peace knowing that Ulias has been saved. And hopefully we say the right things this time. So let's see what that becomes of. Um, so we were already up here, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe last time when I was playing. That's right. Sorry, guys. I already went through that. 
Um, okay, let's do something real quick. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's go into the cistern. How about we try to free... Because we know we can't kill Sentius without just putting us back into the same area. Well, taking us back to where Al was. Um, so... What we should do is let... Solve it. On your best That's behavior, I trust. <laughs> so what we should do is... Hey! You're oh, Dimidius. going into the cistern, are you? Whoa. It's your f Yeah, just leave me alone, dude. I know what's going on here. Um So, maybe if I release Centilla, let her do the killing. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, shoot. Crap, dude. I completely forgot about this dude. Right. Um. So. I don't know what's going to become of this. I have not looked up the endings to this. I don't want to know what they are. I just want to play through myself. So I. Can be surprised at what I'm in for. But we do know there's four endings. So I'm just going to kind of play around here, guys, and see. What brings us to... Whatever event is going to happen. Okay. Scintilla. Who? Who are you? Did he send you? I'm Sam and nobody has sent me. Do you know you're here? You have to help me save. I know, we had this conversation before. We... what? God, am I going out of my mind? Are you going to let me go or not? Okay. So, I've told Galerius to lead everyone here when the Golden Rule is broken, so they can escape too. How did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Okay, so it's gonna happen. She's gonna break the golden rule, but Galerius is gonna have everybody here, so whoever comes with what him should escape. What you do with Centilla? Where is she? As if I'd tell you. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? I told you I was going to break you. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? I probably could. But I'm going to let her have this one. Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on. We have to go. The other right. should be right behind us. I hope so. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. What happened this time? Um, Al, it's Al again. Uh, hi there. Give me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Alworth? I came in here to find you. Well, 
Here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Sam. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, Centilla and a handful of other citizens managed to escape, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Hmm. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. I... I'm not sure I understand. We had this conversation before, Al. <laughs> when I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh... I'm sorry, come again? I still have a suicide note you carved in this tablet here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? Could have spent a light. This yep. is... How could you have written it? Because it was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I, uh, I'm not following. I helped Centella kill the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Now you're getting it. I guess you saved my life then, as well as helping a bunch of others to escape. That's a lot to take in. That's enough talk, so how about we get out of this place? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. It's right here, in a cistern. Follow me. Alright guys, so I think we can actually escape. How, where did you come from? I can't come up from there. Okay. Excuse me, Al. Um. Okay, guys. So this time, I think we can actually get out of here. Al, where you at? Al. Oh, there you are, Al. <laughs> Don't get lost, buddy. Come over here. Over here. Come on. Don't get stuck. Come on. All right, come on. I don't know. Okay. You're not going to get stuck. Good to know. Come on. Looks like we found a way out, guys. Al? He must be out here already. Oh. Where are we? I don't know where Al went. Unless he's over here somewhere. What are you doing, Al? I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Good idea. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. Okay. Yeah, I do remember. This is where it all started, guys. That is the shrine that we entered into and dipped us down into a pool of water and a bathhouse that led us into the city. Wow. So this is it, huh? We actually escaped from the city. This is amazing. And there's Karen. I bet, yep, that's Karen. Wow. You're back. But you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Well, I discovered the ruins of an ancient underground city. Really? So 
sounds amazing. And did you... Oh, look! Here he comes. Al, it's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of... Well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centella? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia, and I will never forget you, or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate, including Olpius and Galerius, who heroically tried to rescue Dooley, but never made it back. Aww. But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. All we can do is take this gift you've given us, and try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. But that's so sad that Opius and Galerius didn't make it. Oh. But you know what? Knowing Opius for the short amount of time and knowing Galerius for who he is definitely would have been the type of people to try to rescue somebody like Dooley. Definitely. That's sad though. But that's that's awesome. That is so cool. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? <laughs> I kind of want to go back now. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go home. So, guys, that was ending three or four. <laughs> How many might have survived if you walked away from Scintilla? That's crazy, <laughs> but let's uh, let's see what the second ending might be, guys. Okay, so my last load point was here, guys, and you know what happened when we went over there to speak to Scintilla and release her. So what we're going to do next is... We're going to do a few more things here. See what the next ending is we can unlock. I love that ending, though. That was so far my favorite ending. The first one, not so much, because, yeah, we kind of ticked off Al knowing that we were both going to end up dying. And we had no way out of there or anything. It's just kind of weird where it teleported us, though. Like, the first time it teleported us right where he committed suicide. And the second time it teleported us upstairs. I don't know. Strange, but... Hmm. Anyway. You're a jerk. Um, I'm gonna go up here. Um... I wonder if I could speak to Claudia here. Again. Claudia. Hello. <laughs> Um, what's your story? I think a better qu I have qu Okay. Why were you locked in? Okay. My marital affairs are Okay. I think. Hmm. Fine. 
dead. Can't out. say too much I else to her. You out. Can't say anything else to her. Hmm. We had a nice conversation there before, and I wanted to try to. Okay, guys, what we're gonna have to do is commit the golden rule. Or commit a crime right now to break the golden rule. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. We're gonna follow Sentius here. Oh. <laughs> he looks busy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, he's definitely busy. All right, guys, let's head back in the time portal here. We're back. Galerius, my friend. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are? I'm Sicilita. Okay. Need you to take care of some things. We're not going to do that one this time. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Um. Hmm. What can I have you do? Julia's dying. I tell you what, stop Fabia from entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find what he is looking for there. All right, let me see. Stop right, Fabia. right, right, right. That's it. I'll go. Thank you. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to you. Hey. Oh, you're here. And uh, there's a. Oh, stop it. I tell you what. Yeah, you're a horrible person. <laughs> I know what you did about the headlock and poisoning you, Yulia. Turns. Still like to know what you're talking about, Livia. But I'm trying to figure out who else I need to speak to, though. As far as figuring out these patterns, you know what I mean? I'm. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that again here. You press you. Gracia. What are you Sorry. doing? She hey, need hey, hey, here, here. What? You yep. Hope for that. Okay. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> um. I'm look. I'm. Hmm. My I so as if I could the next. It's and oh, kind but. Where and the and the she's but I one of. He's I you Okay. She's gonna give us the willow bark. Nice. That How are we going now? That Okay, I'll be back. Hopefully she's up and feeling well. Where is you're a jerk Whatever's too. in that great temple up there again, the friend. I, I went there. So much going on at once. <laughs> um, Rufius, where are you, buddy? Who are you? Oh, Fabia. Hello. Salve and welcome. We already spoke. Yeah, we did. Hmm. May Apollo keep you safe. Oh, she's good. Julia. Julia. Hey. Oh, was that? What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, a priestess at Quartia once told me that if that- I mean, I've seen- they've ne they've got people running scared. Don't worry, I'm working on that. Really? Then- I'll be going All now. Alright. You're welcome. So, my next stop- May Apollo keep you safe. Where is Rufius? I don't know, but if we end up running into him at some point, we'll speak with him. 
Oh, Opius, Opius, that's right. We would need to go save him. Mm. Oh, Rufius, buddy. Name's Ruf. Hey, um. What business? We Here, take this. I, I owe you. Okay. Oh, I. Ah, it's. I, I, I'm. All right, so we're cool. Issue resolved there. So my current quest, these two together, I still, that's what I'm saying. I don't know who else I can speak to. Um, but we're gonna do this one. We're gonna go stop Opius from jumping this time around. So as we're heading up here, guys, it seems like the pattern that I am starting to see is a lot of people were fleeing from the great fire in Rome and they jumped in the river or something happened there to escape and yeah that's how they ended up here isn't this temple imposed salve friend welcome to life under the go need to right. talk to opius I believe this is how it ends oh no 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 Opius, what are you doing? That's the idea. Why do you think? I know. Please. I'm okay. sorry. Please, Opius. Help him. I will talk to him. Thank you. Is this what Centella would want, Opius? You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. You would never believe me if I told you. Well, if you say so. You don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. So maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for Since I have the money to that. pay off this debt. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. I've already saved Yulia's life. And I want to help you too. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. Which I do. Actually, I do. Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. No, you'd be free. You'd do that for us. A couple of complete strangers. Of course. It seems today we are both blessed. This did not turn out how I thought. Thank you, friend. I never thought people like you existed. Here, Opius. Take the money. Pay him off. Be free. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. I just wish there was some way I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Don't worry about it. There's nothing here I want nor need right now. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yuli of the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. No problem, Opius. Hmm. So, Octavia. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another time, then. Sure. So, where are you going? I'm going to follow her. I'm just curious to see where she goes. Oh, I guess she's just stopping here, huh? Okay. Good deal. Hmm. Actually, he's going to speak with Maliolus. She's doing her thing. I would like to go speak to Maliolus next here. Wait a minute. Where am I? Whoa, what the heck? Thank you. Whoa, dude.
Okay, so what the heck? I literally didn't even like this thing just threw me off. Um, okay. Okay, guys, so apparently we can't jump anymore into Maliolus's courtyard. <laughs> so I'm going to go down and go through the main door. I don't know what happened there, why things changed. I used to be able to jump down there, but apparently not this time. So I'm going to head down this way, the safe way and go through his front door like a normal person. But yeah, I'm not so normal here, it seems like. Citizen. Ropius. And now Maliolus is going to... Hmm. A golden oh, ball. Just Why like do you Apollo look so happy? Diana. We're free. Maliolus just released us and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? The newcomer arranged it somehow. Really? That's... incredible. Oh, what a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Olpius. I will. That's awesome. Olpius, buddy. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Hey. Shalom. Shalom, buddy. I didn't get to talk to you yet, and I think you can help me out with a little quest I'm doing. So, what's your story, bud? You mean where am I from and all that? Yeah. Judea, originally. Oh, but when okay. I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family, Romanized my name, and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans Tiberim, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river, and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos. Full of people with all their belongings in carts, and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road, and went to defend them. I can only assume they got the better of me, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest, by a river not far from here, with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though, because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river, but not take my coins? Hmm. So, again, a river, coins, he became unconscious. Hmm. Well, that's good for you to risk your life to help others, Opius. A lot of good it did me. Yeah. And that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. Yeah, Opius is a pretty cool dude because he is the one that tried to help Galerius free Doli, and they didn't make it out there. That third ending there. So, who are you going to vote for? Sentius. I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Yeah, I can see. So what do you think about this golden rule? Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment, so... I guess you're looking for a pithy summary? <laughs> you remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. <laughs> Obliging, he replied, What is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Of course, what I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god. That's for sure. Good question. Thanks. I just wish there was a way to find out. So do you think there's a way out of here? I don't. But even if I did, I'm not going anywhere. 
I have unfinished business. All right, friend. All right. Thanks for the chat. Same, Opius. Thanks for some information. May Apollo keep you safe. All right. Quetia. Quetia. A new face. Arvade, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. Equitia. What do I owe the pleasure of this visit? <laughs> I keep getting her name mixed up. So I've been asking people how they wound up here, trying to find a pattern. I'm not. Yeah. What up? That's all I know. That's I guess. Hmm. Who else am I going to speak to? I don't know who else to speak to, Equitia. All right, Maliolus. Where are you? Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and... Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Uh-huh. Well, what do you want? Mm-hmm. So you're Quinctius. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You... I like... Hmm. <laughs> Apparently Quinctius also suffers from delusions of grandeur. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. I can't prove it to you, but I will. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? I want you to withdraw from this election. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because I know you're Quinctius. Your wife, Claudia, she gave me your love letter. And Nero wants you dead. You accidentally said you were Quinctius on that letter. I... Uh, so, it finally caught up with me. Yep. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? No. No, I'm not one of his assassins, which is fortunate for you, Maliolus, or I should say, Quinctius. So, you're not going to kill me? <sighs> no. Not if you withdraw from the election immediately and release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, what well, if I do it? <laughs> do it let me live? Yes, I will. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll have Demetrius notify the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. Oh, they're already there. released. There, but... got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. Okay, I gotta be honest with you, though. I'm actually... I like him more now. I would have never have thought this in the beginning because Sentius played it out to be this innocent person. You know... Demetrius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I've made a decision to release Yulia and Ulpius and withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform Equitia. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? <laughs> I, I just had a, a, a change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. Ah, as you wish, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, quink this. Hey. Oh. Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. But thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. <laughs> anyway, 
I'll follow her. Um, as Citizens, a, wait, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. <laughs> Arve again. Hey. Come back to me. Not much to say. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as I was saying, guys, in the beginning, I was very lean towards Sentius. Although I was staying open to hearing the other side of the story for Valiolus. But see, I heard a woman crying behind that locked door in his villa. And I swore that was probably Scintilla. But then, when I found out it was Claudia, no, didn't I didn't agree with what he was doing to her. But nothing comes close to what Sentius was doing to Scintilla. Keeping her bound up in the upper part of the cistern. So, what I'm going to do next here is I want to go to Galerius because we can now figure out which guy is responsible for the golden roll. Okay, so we still need to ask people what's going on here. So these two looks like they go hand in hand. So we're going to go to talk to Galerius about becoming magistrate. So, but guys, that's going to do it for this chapter. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here before we head down there and talk to Galerius and see if we can get him to run for magistrate since we got Maliolus Quenctius to withdraw. withdraw peacefully, which is pretty cool. Oh! Sorry, Opius. <laughs> Didn't mean to be in your way there, buddy. Um, so that's going to do it, guys, for this chapter. So next chapter, we'll go ahead and talk to Galerius. I believe this was a very good chapter in my book of the Forgotten City. A lot of good things happened in this chapter. We were able to help Rufius cure his rheumatism through the willow bark that was on a remedy list. Something I thought we would never need in the game, but that something, being the remedy list, was something that Navia had in her chest, by which she gave us a key back in chapter 5 after we helped her. No wonder Rufius was so irritated and trying to lash out at Virgil. <laughs> But it's good to see that he's feeling better now and that we were able to help him. And most of all, finally creating peace between him and Virgil. In this chapter, we decided to tell Galerius upon our return through the time portal once again to gather everybody up in order to make a means of escape. Since we found an escape in the upper cistern. So we then headed back up into the upper cistern and we freed Centella and witnessed her murdering her father, Sentius, and putting an end to his tyranny once and for all. At the cost of the golden roll being broken, of course. Right before we were able to escape with Centella, we ended up turning into this beam of light, supposedly, which I believe it was just us teleporting back into the future in our time, where we were able to meet with Al Worth once again. The man we've been hunting for since the beginning of the game. I literally forgot we were searching for him once we got into the city. Probably in chapter 2. But hey, that's usually how the story goes with me in games like this. But we were finally able to legitimately escape this time through the cistern and find ourselves back where we started. Along the Tiber River. We got to meet up with Karen again and receive a very emotional and touching message left by Scintilla in the past in regards to helping her and some of the others to escape. Sadly, some didn't, such as Opius, Galerius, and Dooley, and some of the others that didn't believe 
Galerius. But with that, we were able to head back to civilization in our time period as Karen ferried us back, resulting in ending number three of the Forgotten City. I hated to cut it so short at the video there after that ending. So I kept playing and we were able to save Opius from jumping to his fate this time, as well as getting to hear his story getting to talk to him and paying off him and Yulia's debt under Maliolus. So we got to end this video on a good note, twice actually. <laughs> More than one good note here, all the stuff that's happened. But our journey will continue in chapter nine of the Forgotten City here. Like and subscribe, more videos coming, more of the Forgotten City coming. And thank you for watching. And as always, till next chapter, take care.